Hi guys, and thanks for watching again. Remember this thing? This is the 65 LED sphere or globe or anything, which I built a couple of videos ago. Now it works fine, but it just switches to some error mode. There we go. This is the mode where it doesn't, doesn't do absolutely anything anymore. And in this video, I will try to fix its problem. There we go. Now, a nice chap called Befriends Radio commented on my video about me programming this thing that there are some resistors over here with the 1.5 kilo ohm resistors that these are too low in value and he said better make them 3.3 kilo ohm or even better 4.7 kilo ohm so i've looked at this thing and i and i saw these very tiny resistors over there so i ordered some resistors at conrad and let's see these are the 3.3 and he said the better is the 4.7 so i ordered 4.7 kilo ohm resistors and i've ordered 10 of each which cost me, I believe, 20 cents in total, and it came in a large box. Well, I th thought, why not ship it in an envelope, but they didn't. Well, at least I paid for the shipping costs. So, these are, let's see, about the same size. So now, the hardest thing I will have to do is remove the 1.5 kilo ohm resistors, and replace them with the... 4.7 kilo ohm. Now what I'm going to try is put my solder iron to both pads at the same time and push it aside, push it away actually. Now I'm going to start with this one because this one is the best accessible and the, these are a little bit harder. But I'm going to try it like this. There we go. Now it's stuck to my solder iron and now it is in my solder tip clean cleaning thingy and but that went pretty good so let's see if i can try the other one too that's what i thought that will that would be harder and i don't want to damage the, the pads uh, too much but there we go hope i didn't damage anything but it's over here the 1.5 kilo ohm fix the pads again. Now this one will probably a bitch too. Yep. There we go. Now it's in there somewhere. <laughs> 1.5 kilo ohm and the last one is over here. It immediately sticks back to, to its place so Oh, now I shoved it below the IC. Now, there we go. A four removed. Now, I'm to re oh, put it back in correctly. Let's see if I can get this open. Is there a nice start? There we go. And my tweezers. four resistors and just throw them next to the 1.5 kilo ohm resistor. That's a great idea. So there we go. Double check that this is the 1.5 kilo ohm. It is. Okay. Now let's start with the best accessible again. That's sitting in place. And that's 
Terrible. Terrible. No, 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 no. Mm, not going to. It probably works in this position, but it just looks horrible. That's better. And let's actually add some fresh shoulder to it. Don't know if you can hear the duck, but that is outside. Because I don't have any dogs. Oh. There it is. It's, looks like my tweezers are a little bit mag mag magnetic. I will be fixing that soon. First, fix the resistors. That's it's not sitting in nicely, but let's see if I can fix that a little bit. No, I cannot. Ah, that's better. All right, last one. Great position. Touching the LEDs with my solar iron, that's probably not a good idea. Let's just apply some more fresh solar on this pad. There we go. Oh, I've actually left it connected to the power bank, but that's probably not a big problem. Let's see what it does. So now they're not as bright anymore, but that's okay. At least it shouldn't crash. At least I hope it won't crash. This is probably the point of crashing. And it continues doing its thing. Let's see if I can find other modes. Now, this is, I don't know if it's, if it is the, uh, the remote control, because this is not the correct remote. But this is, but this one has no battery, and that's because of the previous video about the RGB LED, where the remote came without a battery, so I stole it from this one. Now, I believe three. Okay, that's that's what I meant. Oh, that was actually a Dutch word. Oh, that was unexpected. Now, <laughs> this is. Um, it's not going in error mode anywhere any anymore. It is. Uh, um, it is responsive. It stays responsive, but it doesn't fix the problem. Now the time works, the text works, but let me see. Or maybe that's just because I haven't uploaded enough images in there. Could that be? That could be. I'm going to reprogram this and see if it can hold a, a large number of images. I'll be back in a moment. Now this was actually the problem. I had loaded not enough images on there and now I've loaded this image, I like this image a lot, it, um, and it, I've, I've paused it because I can put it to, to play again and pause it again. 
But this was actually the problem. Not enough images, so it kept restarting over and over again back to, to text mode. But changing the resistors from 1.5k to 4.7k did the trick. So I want to thank Peter. I believe Peter is his real name. Uh, goes by the name Be Friends Radio on YouTube very much for this tip, for this help in solving this problem. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.